Hello and welcome. It is 87 Legends time, and we are here at Legacy Texas. So that is the Texas that people like more. <laughs> yeah, the one that uh, doesn't have quite the uh, less banked 1 and 2. It's a little bit faster, like 3 and 4. And uh, we're going to jump into qualifying here with my brake bias all the way back. And hopefully a good lap in my back pocket. We're going to find out. We've got some some of the best here in the 87 Legends um, in the field. So it's going to be really tough out here. Just some of the uh, some of the fastest guys you'll see <laughs> in, uh, in these lobbies just all decided to show up. Uh, it's a 2.6k strength of field, but very, very top heavy in that way. Uh, I am the number four here today. So a top five would be just fine. In fact, that would be excellent. I'd be very happy with that if we were able to pull that off. And uh, maybe that starts with a good qualifying effort. We'll see what we can do here. I've been using a little bit of brake to get it green turned. Flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your first time lap. An entry. Getting it down by this white line. Ooh, I wonder if I could have pushed a little harder. With all this cloud cover, I wonder if the track is a little bit cooler. And maybe I could have attacked that a little bit harder. It's only the first lap that really counts here in the Legends, so I hope that was good enough. Let's see what happens here, but tires are not going to be quite as grippy on lap two. And you can see I pushed out toward the wall if I try to push it as hard as I did that first lap, so... We're gonna have to live with our... Whatever we got. <laughs> 31047. Beat by two people already, but they're two of the people that I know are super fast, so... That's okay. Otherwise, I'm... Pretty decently happy. With the numbers I've got there. We got any rain coming? No. <laughs> Maybe we got some wind though. Looking at that wind. 12 mile an hour, 13 mile an hour. Interesting. We'll do a practice pit in here. Which hopefully we'll have to use. Feels like a lot of the races I've been doing at the start of this season have been a bit messy. I'm hoping we get a nice long green run here. And can we'll maybe do some green flag pit stops. That is just my favorite thing, man. Until you reset the car and try again. Pretty good stop there, even with my brake bias down at 42%. I think I can get into the pits just fine. Let's see here, P3 for now. I think we're probably going to get beat by the 2 and the 3 if they qualify, though. The 3 choosing not to qualify, so there's one person that uh, will not beat us for qualifying at least. The two, that is Lewandowski. Is he gonna qualify or not? I wonder if, uh, I wonder if it's worth it to wait a second with this overcast and maybe the track cools down a little bit more. I wonder if that's a thing. It actually looks like the temperature is gonna go up throughout the race. Interestingly. Cool new forecast weather tab here. More useful to check to see if there's rain coming, but you can get some good information otherwise here as well. Hey look, it's Texas. It's Texas. Alright, so P3, hey! Look at that! One thousandth of a second faster than Lewandowski. I'll take that. I feel like I'm doing something right if I can pull that off. So we're waiting on the 11 and the 16. For them to do some laps or to hit the go, go, go button. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll wait another 50 seconds. Nice to see some new names finally. I don't recognize that guy's name, so nice to see his name. I don't think this is single split. I think it's split once. We've got 
21 cars in here, and I believe I saw more people than that signed up. And the low sky is a 1400 I rating, so above the average, I guess, because I think the average is right around what you start with, like a 1300, 1200. So I think there's probably a split below this one. It's funny he says that, nice to see some new names, because I recognize a lot of the guys' names up front. Like, these are guys that I've raced in this series and lost to before. <laughs> so, um, you know. That's the end of the session. P3. Make sure my brake vice is back. Okay, just double checking before we get into the car. 90 laps. What is the fuel situation looking like? One lap to green. 66 laps. On the inside. Closed. Pit All right. Is closed. If we do get green flag pit stops, it'll be right tires only. The estimated SOF is... There's the strength of field. Can you make in-car adjustments in here? I don't think I've ever looked. Rear spoiler. Can't actually adjust it, so... No, you can't. And then brake bias. Kind of getting into making adjustments. You're not going to be able to adjust much of anything on a fixed series anyway, but... Started making like a little cheat sheet I can look at for whenever I do open races and know uh, what I can change. Had that ready for the B Open race I did recently, but the car actually felt pretty good during that race, and I didn't really have any complaints. I actually, uh, once I learned what the setup wanted from me in that race, I actually quite enjoyed how it ran, so... Didn't need to use it there, but in a race I lost, a uh, C Open race, I think it was at Auto Club, I did have to loosen the car up, or the truck in that case, and it helped out a ton, so... I'm learning. I'm learning how to make these adjustments and things. One step at a time. We'll have a session last lap up here, and we will be ready to pace ourselves, because that is how you make it to the end in these cars. Important to save those tires. And we're using that brake on entry to get the car turned, keep it on that bottom line, and hopefully the guys behind aren't too eager to run me over. So I do want to save my tires. You have two additional sets Only got two sets. Two extra sets, I should run. say. Which can go quick in a 90 lap race. So I'll have to be smart about how we use those. Laps. The track temp is 92. The air temp is 76 Fahrenheit. Follow car number zero. Hey there, Larry. How are you? Column. I'm good, Jared. How are you? Doing well, man. Doing good. Very happy with our starting spot. We got a great start here. Run these in a while. Nice to see you in here. Starting behind Larry. Should get a good jump. Yeah, man. Great Same view. Here. I, uh, only lap I had in there was practicing qualifying, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, we're in the same boat. Well, this should be fun. Let's get to it. Yeah, <laughs> I was in the practice session trying to hit better laps, and then Larry comes in at the last minute and beats my time, and Green. that made me grumpy. <laughs> not really, yeah. but in a uh, thank you. That's not even fair kind of way. <laughs> no, that's not good. I love my full speed track is gone missing. Cloudy day here in Texas, retro Texas, in a retro car. Hopefully it'll be a fun race. I think we can keep it clean and have a great long run, but we'll see. Gonna need everyone's uh, cooperation to pull that off. Get ready, going green. See what we can do. Keep low. The next car is the leader. Go low. Clear up top. Clear the guy behind. All right, good stuff. And now I just gotta find the pace I want to take through these corners. So as not to overdrive. Oh, interesting, Larry taking a very shallow entry. 
Gotta imagine that he's doing that for a reason. He must know something I don't. Try to keep this thing happy. Yeah, look at him go down there. Just done a 31.9. Your lap time was at 31.9. The guy behind has just done a 32.0. I don't think even if uh, even if that is the way to do it, I don't think I could pull it off correctly. I feel like I'd kill my right front even worse if I tried that. So I'm gonna stick with what I know, and that's uh, how to do this poorly. But you know, at least I know it. At least I'm familiar with how to do this poorly. Yellow no flag. Line up, single file. Closed. Pit road is closed. All right then. We think Forestier has been it. So we don't get that long run quite yet, but still have a chance if we go green for a while after this is over. But something has happened in the back of the field, or at least behind us. Car car one line up, single car. file behind car number zero one. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Try not to burn my tires off during yellow at all. Keep it slow around the corners. Wonder what happened. I didn't see anything in my rear view or anything. But I didn't really look. I only see one car stuck on pit road. It might have been a one-car accident. Open. Pits are open. All right, we'll try it again, and this time it'll be single file when we line up, as we do it 1987 style. It does go green from here. This will push back our planned pit time, our green flag pit stop. Whereas where I maybe normally wanted to pit around 46, maybe we push this back to 49, maybe 50. Maybe go a little bit of an undercut, do like a 49. Cat is freaking out for some reason. I've been seeing some buzz that who knows if it's true, but seeing buzz that after this year they're talking about reconfiguring Texas to a one mile high bank short track. Heard that rumor. By reconfiguring Texas. Why would they do that though? Everybody loves Texas. <laughs> Four course yellow. That's Obviously right, joking. Though. I like driving it on iRacing, but it's not uh, its not too much of a show to watch for fans, I don't think, and I think the general consensus is that uh, not very many people are a fan. But I like it, and I know that that is not a popular opinion. I like this Texas. I think more people like this Texas, to be fair. But I also like New Texas. I like that uh, you do have to slow down at a mile and a half track in 1 and 2. And that uh, if you're able to save tires there, you can get real big benefits in 3 and 4, which is a faster corner. You can yaw it out over there and you get a nice mix of like the tire saving and you also get a high speed corner in 3 and 4 there, mixing it up. I like how it drives, but totally understand why some people wouldn't, and I definitely understand the fact that uh, watching the races is not always thrilling, especially with real life's really bad arrow push and such. That makes passing very difficult. So we'll get ready to go here. I'm not going to pass Larry on the outside or anything. I don't see a reason to go up to the wall unless he does at the last second. I'm just going to fall behind him. Green. Stay focused. The 
The paid car is in. Is that a work? Probably pushing a little bit too hard there. Didn't really need to, I guess. I don't think I want to pass him. I think I could probably learn a lot from following him. Although I'm still not going to do that low entry into one. I don't, I don't know all about that. I think I'm going to take it easier on the exits. I think I've been pushing a little bit too hard on the exits of the corners. They're catching up behind me, although they are side by side, which could be slowing them down a little bit. weird entry for me there, but we figured it out. Car outside. He's looking to Still go there. now. So I'm okay with letting him by. He's there. probably going to hurt his tires taking that approach. Still there. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Go around the outside if they want. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want it. All right, Colton. The next car is. Is it around me? I think the six and the nine are definitely going a little bit hard right now, and they could come back to us unless I'm also just terrible at saving tires, even though I'm trying to. Dowski's behind us. See what he's looking to do. I'm getting really bad exits of the corner. Right. I am slow, <laughs> so Stay I guess high. I will let him go on by. Stay high. Got a little bit of a freight train behind us. The yellow flag is out. Yellow flag. Right. File. Close. I was gonna let him go. Close. We got Lewandowski around Zero. us, but Nine. nobody else. We're under caution. Pits are closed. How many sets of tires we got? Two. They're wrecking a lot back there, but. I can see a future where this goes green for a while. Pit road is now open. Pits are open. They look like they're trying to pit. I don't know if it's time yet. I don't think we can make it on fuel. Split decision here. We haven't done that many green flag laps, so I'm not going to go for it quite yet. We have other takers back there, and now we're not going to be behind what could be a wreck. So I guess I'll take it. Very split decision there. That was interesting for sure. We'll find out if we regret that later. But we'll have another uh, set of tires. They seem to indicate that they plan on wrecking more. And I think if I wanted to beat some of those names, I needed to do something a little different. Why is the 8 so close to me? 
scaring me. Uh, yeah, I mean, with single file restarts, those guys are going to be really far back. Obviously, they're going to come past us if we get green for any length of time, but we have work to do. Like I said, I don't think you can make it on fuel to the end. If we get another caution, I think we probably come in. Just because you can make it to the end. But I remember seeing 66 laps of fuel. I think pit window would open around lap, uh, I don't know, what would that be, like 24? We're getting close, but I don't think we're quite there yet. One lap to green. And uh, that's uh, why they're all going to save enough fuel and beat me. Check for tire spin here. I don't think we're going to get any, though. Yeah. Fires off pretty slow, so I think we're definitely fine. Strategies have diverged. That's always fun and interesting. I like that. Add some intrigue. I'm kind of glad I'm not back there where guys have been wrecking a bunch. Can't predict the future, so I think I'm okay with how this uh, is looking right now and with that decision. See how this goes. Get ready, going green. Oh wow, he went very early. Glad I was ready. Maybe could have reacted a little bit better, but glad I wasn't sleeping. I think the guy might have behind us might have been a little bit. Ah, he's about the same distance as we are to the leader right now. Speaking of leader, gets a little bit tight. Car outside. Keep behind us now, 0.8. Stay low. That's too big of a run to ignore, if you like, so Keep I will low. take the inside. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Kinda nice being able to run down here and make him use up his tires in that second Go lane on. a little bit, but looks like he clears us, so he didn't have to worry about it too much. Still leaving that bottom lane open though. Maybe he thought I was gonna dive it in again. I see Larry on the relative, but he's still two seconds back. Six was one of the guys I felt like was uh, driving a little bit harder than I wanted to before. As we get lap traffic coming out of the pits. He's also taking that higher entry, which is very interesting. I don't think that would work long run, but I could easily be wrong. I hope this lap car is uh, able to give us lap time was adequate room. Eight right behind us, but a second back to the guy behind him. Inside, get him by us. Keep high, clear. Don't want to lose much time side by side. He's definitely taking it easier in to the corners. I like that. P3, that lap was a 32.8. Man, it really wants to push out on the exits. I gotta be careful. T 
Okay, there's no way that that six is gonna have tires at the end of this run, right? Like, he's gotta be killing that right front. Who knows, maybe he's getting on the, the right rear, maybe, if it, by or cutting down and getting out of the corner, and maybe that's actually working well for him. There's Larry, we're going to let him by really easy, because he's one of the guys on new tires. I'm going to need to waste his time or mine as he finds his way around us. They'll probably be behind us by the time we get to 1 and 2 here. Maybe not quite yet. Your lap time was 33.0. That car's maybe getting in the way a little bit. No, I think he's fine. P3. I wasn't watching ahead of me. I was looking behind me to see if Larry was making a move, so I didn't know exactly what was happening in front. Your last lap time was at 33.0. Oh, Larry would fly past me, but he's kind of just slowly making his way farther forward. Dixon is now in the lead. Why is the... What is happening? Oh, okay. I thought the other guy was... Okay. I got confused about who the lap car was. It's kind of in my way a little bit. We're car fine. Outside. Just kind of caught him in a bad spot. Keep low. Clear up top. Times are improving. This is good. I don't know if Larry's just content riding behind us right now, or if uh, his tires are already worn out. We don't know. Six car is still surprising me running that higher line, and it's still working. He's still in the lead. Getting passed by the three. I think I'm pretty darn happy with my decision here, because we're having we're gonna have an extra set of tires and they're not exactly blowing past us. You've just done a thirty three point two. I feel like racing the uh, SRX so much recently has been uh, pretty good practice running the 87s just because they have that same slow mid-corner speed. So now check it out, now we get to take tires. Those guys behind are either... Was caught up in that. I was clutching and saving fuel and had to hit the brakes and spun it out. Oh shoot. Larry calls that? I directly called that or anything, Larry. I kind of looked up and I saw you kind of lose it behind me. I don't know if that was me or not. Oh, wow. I mean, I just misjudged it with how quick you got by me. I just absolutely did not anticipate the closing right into the corner there when I had the motor off. Pete Road, that was all my fault. It's open. to hear that. Can you come up any faster, 12, or are you damaged? You know, we're taking tires now. These guys are either going to have to take uh, their last set of tires or be out on older tires. Which, to be fair, works pretty well for us. The leader, Dixon, is pitting. Look out for the pit speed limit. Pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. 
We think we'll need to stop again. Keep boxing. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. <laughs> that was a pretty good stop. 95, 94. Love to see it. Those are some great tire numbers right there. I'm very happy with how that looks. How are our left sides wearing more than the right sides? What? That's odd. To say the least. All clear. Punch it. You only have one tire set remaining. They want you in single file. Catch the 14 <laughs> car. Ooh, looky there. What a stop. I do believe we're in the lead of the guys. Uh, that's a nice 23.1 second pit stop. Headed out of uh, the guys at pit. Thank you, pit crew. Full course, yeah. Fire my lift rear tire changer. Yeah, I think we can run these tires 60 laps. For sure. If you save fuel, you can make it like 82, 85 laps. 82? Yeah, I know I'm getting fuel. I just didn't know what these wow. tires did. Wow, that's the shocking. Those guys could have made it then. If that's true, because you're showing 67 at most. Big. They used to get really, really loose here, but... I don't think that's going to happen unless you're just running really hard on your rear brake brake bias. Ten four. We got the fourteen in front of us. He cannot make it on fuel. Just interesting. Oh, maybe he can. Maybe he can. He came in at sixteen, and if what they're saying is true, then he can make it on fuel. Let's look at for track position. We have another set of tires. And unless those guys went to the back without taking it's tires, open. they are out. So we could be in a great position here. I'm very happy with my choice not to take tires that first time. I mean, we stayed in front of them, which is wild. So things are looking up. We just got to keep it clean. Keep at it. We have to be smart getting around the 14, assuming we can. One left to green. We probably Line should be able to. You last pit on lap 16, according to Race Lab. And presumably took tires then. Still gotta save my tires, of course. So I'm gonna be patient. I think the 6 and the 8 will probably get around me again. Because they were looking uh, more willing to go fast sooner. Oh, reach out and smack me. Wow, that's amazing. One car you uh with that catastrophe you are still on the lead lap. Yeah, that guy went really early, yeah, so we gotta be ready. Didn't give me a neat ball with six minutes of damage. Well, you could still be in this. I don't know how much damage yeah, you got. I saw you in pit, you're missing several parts ready, of your car. Green. Sounds like you got hit pretty hard by either a wall or another person. I can't. Yeah, I can't pass you 20 when you get to speed up. The pace car is in. Have a weird <laughs> rolling start there. You're back in second. Slow the speed up. The leader. Car outside. Clear up top. We'll get around him. Okay, you are the okay, leader. Colton, we're matching race pace. I'm the leader. Alright. And it's gone. <laughs> this guy's definitely going to go around, and that's Keep fine. Going. If he can make that work with how hard he's running, I have totally okay with me. I'll just be impressed. The 
next car is the leader. Like the three definitely took tires. He's got a lot of speed and he's really hoping we don't have another caution. I mean, we're not even halfway in this thing. Sorry for the heart attack there. Thanks. Nine looking to get around. He was looking pretty fast. Car inside, clear inside. Car inside, you're in the middle, three wide. Clear outside, outside. Okay. You're in the middle, three wide. Right side, two wide. Still inside. Still there. Plows the into the back of us, like we're not there. Clear inside. Car inside. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. B7. That was a 33 point. I wasn't even gonna fight him. No That's report. surprising. He hit me pretty good. Well, now what do we do? <laughs> that sucks. We went from second place to seventh. Still got that tire advantage. That's good. If they keep driving like that, they're going to wreck again, so... Very surprised we didn't have any damage. I guess these uh, these old cars are pretty hardy, so that's good news. What that guy just plowed the wall. He stinks. <laughs> kind of smells. Not to be rude, but you kind of... Schmeckeldorfed me, and then uh, now you're plowing the wall in front of people. Makes me a little unhappy. It's hitting the wall again. You'd think he'd stop driving it so hard into the wall every lap and learn. P7. That was a 32.7. So, despite the heart attack, we're still okay. Gotta just stick to the plan here, be good to my tires long run. We'll be in a great spot if another caution comes out, and uh, we're not in such a bad spot right now. Seventh place, and the nine's not going to stay in front of us for long. Through uh, one mean or another. Unless he wrecks me again. I think we're in a good spot. Oh! Something's happening up there. This is ugly. Things are happening, and they are not very pretty. Not very pretty things. Wall hits and collisions. And the nine getting the wall again. You've just done a 32.9. Yeah, Hardy's overdriving the entry. He's gonna run over somebody else. He's about to run over the eight into the next corner or something. I actually braked on entry. Protecting the inside, I guess. 
alright, I don't need to be in a hurry to get around him. The way he's driving, he's definitely killing the right front. Could be long before we're able to overtake. Car outside. Clear up top. We need sixth place. We're right in the thick of it. B6. That's half distance. We estimate 41. Laps remaining on this tank. Hopefully the 9 doesn't have enough tire to run to the back of me anymore. Coming up on halfway here. Outside. Thomas. Clear outside if you want it. Dixon is now leading. Car Be able to make our way around the 15. Run back in the 8, and then we let's back up the corners. Which is what I should be doing anyway. There is a car on the high side. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. You're in here. Keep low. Clear outside. Really clear him or not? Outside. He's gonna ride it really hard to the Still outside there. for Hold some line. reason. Let's give it up, man. Still there. Clear high. All right, survive that. Top five. like seeing too wide up there. It's going to be a lot harder for those guys to save their tires if they're side by side like that. That lap time was 33.2. That still feels great. It's turning just fine. We saw that our tire wear wasn't really that bad at all after that first run. I might have to get around the 8, though. Slowing down a little bit too much for my tastes. Is now in the lead. Gotta find the right opportunity, though. Lap time's pretty consistent. I know the five's looking as well. He's pretty close to my bumper, so part of the reason I want to get around the eight, I don't want to be shuffled back. I think we still got a pretty good car. Can't see very well. Are they three wide for the lead? No, they're too wide though. Inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Keep high. Yeah, there's some grip out here. Still inside. Not great, but there is some. Still there, inside. You're back in fourth You've position. Just Don't want to be out here too long, though. Stay high. Clear inside. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. 
Still there, hold your line. Keep low. It's a really good run out there, so we're not going to be able to get around. Clear up, Colton. That's okay. Okay, Colton. The next car is Lewandowski. Wouldn't mind taking it single file here for a minute. Got lab traffic coming up. That could be interesting if they're too wide when they get there, but I don't know if they will be. Could be interesting if they're single wide. Depending on how this lap traffic goes. Okay. That's not very great. Outside. Still there. Clear high. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. P3. Still there. Hold your line. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. Right on our outside. Almost clear him. Outside, clear. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Not quite able to do Backing it. Backing third. Keep hustling. Still there. Clear outside. Here we get it done there. P3. Inside. Clear Serious inside. Problem. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear. Arrow loose. He's not diving again. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Who takes higher Clear line? Getting a run. Kind of swapping right now. I'm just gonna stick to the bottom. There is a car on the high side. The next car outside is outside. Clear. That lap time was 33.3. More lap traffic. Hopefully, it goes a little smoother than it did last time. This guy, are we? Stay low. There Dang is a car it. on the high side. Outside is clear. Gotta be kidding me. The six is back. Still there. Oh, uh, lap traffic gets the six. Still there. Inside. Back to us. Still there. Hold it's gonna your hang on to us forever again. That lap was at Still there at the bottom. Let him go, fly out run. I don't want to fight him side by side for the next 200 laps. He needs to go though, if he's so fast. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. He sits on running that higher line. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. The driver in front Clear of us outside. is Dixon, P4. That lap was a 33.6. The yellow flag is out. Oh, they want you boy. in single file. Pit road is closed right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for some more tires. And I don't think all these guys have tires. Yeah, track work with the zero one. I think we made up a little bit of there. Last set going six. on. Let me be clear, that was really great racing, that was a ton of fun. 
any complaining I do is just because it's the heat of the moment. <laughs> Let me be clear. I know I have to say that a lot, but it's true. When, it, when things are all intense and things are close and something happens, I complain. It's like uh, the real racers, they get on the radio and they're like, What the bleep bleep? Are you bleep bleep bleeping? Pit road's open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. So... You know what? Maybe those guys, maybe they didn't take tires. Maybe they uh, still have a set. And they're just really good. I wouldn't be that surprised if that were the case. Could be also they didn't actually take tires early on. The leader, Butler, is pitting. Which now that I think about it, if they could, if they felt they could have made it to the end, that's probably what happened. So they probably are taking tires right here. Right here. 86, 86. All right. I'm happy with that. We're going to take four because it looks like the left sides are, are wearing pretty significantly. Hopefully that's not a mistake. Any two tire takers? I don't see any yet. That's it. Go. You are out of tires. Line up, single file. Catch up, three, car. We have a couple of guys that stayed out. We're going to be P2 of the guys on the fresh tires, looks like. Assuming the two, the three did have tires. And uh, we're going to the end now. I'm very surprised how little the tires are wearing. Because we went... We went at it for a while there. 86, 86. Which isn't all that bad. It's definitely a far cry from what this uh, car used to do to the tires. Where you'd get 0%. So the two guys ahead either are out of tires or are going for the Hail Mary later for a later restart to take their tires. We might just have to kind of go right now, to be honest. No green-white checkers. I think we have to kind of go. The tires aren't wearing all that much. Could get more cautions. So I think we'll get around the 5 and the 20, and then see what we can do from there. Gotta remember, we don't need to win it to have a successful day at the track here. I'm gonna try, but I'm not gonna wreck myself going for it or anything. We're facing some very, very good drivers. So... I will take what I can get. One left to green. You're on the outside okay, this time. I think the seven behind us might have taken two. Lap. I don't remember seeing him nearby, but he could have also just had a really good stop. Speaking of, Lewandowski did not have a very good stop in the eight, although maybe they fell back and I didn't notice. I don't know. I don't think that's what happened. Or just a handful of guys took two tires and then we just somehow were able to get out in front of them. That feels wrong though too. I don't know. We'll be taking a close look at the leaders. Hopefully get ourselves a good jump. We got someone on the inside. To go green, stay Showing up at the last second. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. 
Well, he kind of false jumped. Threw me off. Inside. Still inside. Clear inside. Inside. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. Okay, call to Car inside. Car is Taylor. Butler, just leave to the Still race. there at the bottom. Still there. You're getting around the 20. Still inside. Last lap time was at 33.2. Clear. Inside. Somehow get to the outside of the, the next car five as well. Later. Oh, that's because he uh, doesn't have tires. That's Clear. right. You're back in second. Fastest lap of the race. That was a uh, 31.5. The guy behind has just done a 31.7. Car outside. Still there. Outside, clear. Alright, got the lead. Try to hold on to it. We have a new leader. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. I think this track position could be very important. So if you do that about five to seven laps earlier or uh, later. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. We've been wrecking for the last like the whole race, but none of these wrecks have been up front. Mine was up there. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, sure. Oh no, there's the 12 car. He did not get his lap back. I think it's safe to say. Oh, car on the roof. This might help him out. Well, I don't know if, you, I don't know if that's legal. Pete Road is now open. It's open. Should put a skateboard on the roof. It could get rolling. All right, well, we're going to lose a couple laps here. Get closer to the finish. No green-white checkers in this series. Already got 19 to go at the line. That's not even two to go, because I think we got... Uh, Car. Lucky Boy, dog, got yeah. The lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Interesting. Definitely a second gear start. I was just testing. Just testing. Letter 14. Carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag the came out. Taking his lucky dog very slowly. Pits are open. Maybe he just wanted to say hello. Hello. <laughs> So this should be two to green. We'll have a single file restart. Hopefully we'll get a good jump, although my jump won't be as good because I use the um, auto clutch for this car. So they may be able to get through the gears a little bit better. Probably a lot better than I will. How's Larry doing? Is he on the lead lap now? 
He is. I imagine he's got some pretty bad damage, though. He might have been on the lead lap already and just uh, can't really go anywhere. We'll see what happened to him and uh, what all these other yellows are for later. If they keep wrecking, though, I'm going to be glad I've got the track position. Of course, yellow. Pits are open. Heck, I'm still pretty glad, even if it does go green. I mean, we're in a good spot. Tires aren't wearing all that much. Obviously, it can't kill them, but... A good spot here. I will be protecting this uh, P1. Though with draft, he may be able to get to my inside. Plus, I think he's just better than I am. <laughs> so, see what happens. But first things first, I gotta have a good launch. It looks like he is uh, kind of looking to the outside, so I'm going to protect the outside. I think I'm going to have to here. Green, stay focused. The pace car is off. Be ready. We got a good flag. Green. green flag. Through one and two, just fine. He gained a lot on us in three and four. He pushed a little harder than we did. The lap time was at thirty two point eight. Oh man, that draft is really helping him. He just gets so much run out of the corner. You've just done a 31.6. The guy behind has just done a 31.5. Blue to the bottom. Just trying to be precise. Caution can come out at any moment. We're gonna want this P1. Go for it. Stuck the nose there, but driving a little harder to prevent him from getting there. 11 to go. Your lap time was 32.2.
Just need this car to hold together. I need the tires to hold together enough. Ten to go. This time by. Gotta really focus on getting the exit so he can't get a run on us. Outside. Those are outside. I did not expect Keep that. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want it. I guess I should have though, because they've been doing that, getting the runs all day long. Inside. Yeah, he executed that perfectly. Stay high. Still there, inside. Still there at the bottom. We're not going to be able to hang out on the outside there. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. The he next car the leader. Clear. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. We're not going to do anything with this. Stay low. Clear outside. Car outside. Give him a lane. Still there. Hold your line. You're in first. Still there. Hold your line. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside. Outside. Uh. Thought I might clear him, not quite. Still there. Outside is clear. Inside. Cross this over again. Still there, inside. The lap time was at 32.8. Still there. Still there at the bottom. I got tight. Clear inside. I don't know if I got anything more I'm going to try though. Five. Five to go. The next car's the leader. We're a great spot. Next high. Outside. Clear. It'd be really hard to pass him if he's getting the run like that. Got a second behind us. Despite how hard we were fighting. Ooh, that was actually really close. I don't know what we do here. That last lap was at 32.9. I don't know how to run this high line that these guys have been running. I don't know if I entered high enough Me there too. to do what they were doing. I don't think I did. I don't know how to run that. <laughs> I don't know how to run that. Uh, that did not work at all. <laughs> but you know what? I tried. Got it from here. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> Dang. Last lap. Oh, 
Okay, Colton, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. Try to get in and see how it works. Time was 33.1. The gap to Butler ahead is increasing. It's now 0.8. That wasn't it. Good race, great win, man. I wish I knew how you guys were doing that cut down line. That was cool. <laughs> yeah, I got battle there, Colton. That was fun as hell, dude. Finish. Nice one. Good race to the end, Chicken everybody. Flag. Flag. Fun. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Great race to him. Good race, no front. You did really well. <laughs> Good win, Sean. Great race from there at the end, Ryan. That was fun. Yeah, we just really went for it at the end there, and I, I think it because of how. Uh, how little the tires were actually wearing, I think we could hey, get away with it. Good stuff, guys. Glad we got the round of the end. strategy was too bold. I nice imagine our right front's cooked. 87.92. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, John. Yeah, that was, it was just that... I was trying to figure out how he did that cut-down thing to get uh, the run out of the corner. I don't know how he was doing it. I noticed Lewandowski was doing it as well. That's a great tool to have in the back pocket, and he used it to, to great effect. So he gets a run there. He's to our outside. So he's running like a high entry. Not quite at the top. That's part of what I did wrong, I think. So it's just below that seam. And then he like, I don't know how it carries so much momentum through the center because when I tried that maybe it's just my tires were too far gone at that point but when I tried that I was not able to carry that much speed and get the run out of the corner like that but you can see he cuts under executes it very well and then that's enough that's all he really needed when I would be on the outside line I kind of used this seam as reference but it looks like there really was something to that kind of outside that was a great battle. That was excellent. Great race with them. That was a lot of fun. And uh, we'll get P2, which is super cool. Uh, with how many super fast guys that were in here. And Larry's back there, Lewandowski. And uh, there were guys that were faster than I was. That I think got off strategy a little bit and everything. That was a lot of fun back and forth. I really could only do that bottom line, but I didn't quite have that uh, ability to run that like third lane I guess is what it was yeah there it goes again like right on that seam he runs up high and I clear him but not enough I know I can't just drift up in front of him that's gonna cause a wreck and no one's gonna be happy if that happens so <laughs> give him the lane try to get next corner he was just getting too good of a run. And, like, it's whenever he was able to do that crossover like that and get that huge run out of the corner. That's what really got him in front, I think. Because I'll fight here in the second lane, but it's not enough. Whereas maybe I could have used that third lane and then crossed him over myself. And I just didn't quite have that. I didn't have that ability. I didn't have that skill set. So, something maybe I could practice. Now that I know it's possible, <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's the analysis of those uh, last laps there. Come up just short, but I will not be upset about a P2 in this field. And we'll see the accidents, because we had quite a few cautions. Especially uh, kind of near the start, we had a, a bundle of them. So 21 got the wall there. Lap 3, I think the 11 is probably just going to hit the wall and exit. No! Ooh... What's behind door number three? Something else. <laughs> Something different. The 16 just... That looks pretty strange. You just got broke it loose right there. I didn't know you could get the car loose. <laughs> Hit that part of the track. I'm always plowing right there. But uh, unfortunately, got a couple of guys involved in that. Eight finds the outside wall pretty hard. 17 does the same. Just some blinking there. 16 gonna get the wall. Uh oh. That's more than just a wall hit. 
So 16 gets the wall. <laughs> the 21 just drives through him. I imagine that was an accident. He probably meant to go farther to the left, but uh, was not quite nimble enough to get to the inside of him in time. The 20 car is definitely broken. That is not yeah, looking Yeah, sorry good. about that, Colton. Back on lap 38, I should have gave you more room, man. That was my bad. That's all right. I appreciate the apology. Everything turned out all right in the end. Okay, that's nice of him. He went back and looked. I'm sorry I said some mean things. I was frustrated. Oh, whoa. Okay, this is what happened to Larry. Oh, he gets hit from behind. So... It looks like he just, he approached the number three a little bit too fast, and I think he stabbed the brakes. And if he's like me, he has 42% brake bias in it. And uh, I think that really unsettled his car if he had to stab the brakes. And uh, these, these cars, when they get sideways, they're really hard to do anything with. And uh, the 12 found him. And <laughs> he also found the 21. That sucks. That's what happened to him. These cars, uh, they really hate it. When you stab the brakes and the, you got the brake bias all the way back or something like that. Like I said, when they get sideways, it's not uh, there's not much you can do about it, really. Just hope no one else hits you, and unfortunately, he was not so lucky. So here's when we get uh, hit from behind. Okay, that was not quite as bad as I thought it was. I mean, he's a little high up the track, maybe, there. And uh, I was ready to give him room on the inside because I expected him to dive it in. So I was ready to take this corner and take the uh, second lane. But uh, he kind of just found me. That might have even been a little bit net code, to be honest. Oops. Let's take a look at it. I think he got me for real, but... Just the lightest of taps and uh, somehow it worked out. <laughs> We both had to save it, but <laughs> I think uh, I wasn't going to be able to save it if uh, he wasn't able to like push my car in the in the right direction there. And then I had to be real careful getting back up to speed. Very very nice job to the to the guys behind us to see that happening and navigate it safely. Lewandowski back there, he knows how to control his car. And uh, like I said, we were okay in the end. Nine gets the wall and exit. That's when I was mean, and I was like, oh, you would think you would. <laughs> Being a big jerk. <laughs> Car gets tight, I get it. I hit the wall a time or two in this race for sure. Ooh, I hope I gave him enough room there. Yeah, I gave him room. He had a lane there, he just got tight. I raced it a little close, but I was worried that I uh, crowded him too much and basically put on the wall, but I think that was just fine. Ooh, slides up against the 12. I think the 12's a lap car at this point. Yeah, it looks like it. So I just caught him at a very bad spot. Ooh. Hard hit for the 21, and that is a caution. Does a handful of pirouettes. Spinning down the front straight. 16 gonna hit his brakes hard in the spin. Or is this showing us uh, this for no reason? Looks like no reason. Blinking. Oh, no. That was wrong place, wrong time for the 12. He's the one that ended up upside down, so... That looked like a chain reaction. I think the, uh, the 10 entering a little softer than the 16 was ready for, and then he checks up for that, and the 19 was not ready for it. And uh, then that's uh, why the 16 gets sent up the track and right into the path of the 12.
And that's very unfortunate. It wasn't his fault at all. He was already a lap car and uh, was just in the wrong place. And ends up upside down. Just like me in the um, <laughs> SRX race at Chicago Land, the hosted, <laughs> ending up upside down. So here we are, lap 80. Not too much longer to go in this thing, and in fact, it is over. <laughs> Just like that, and there's uh, nothing else that happened to the end. And uh, that's thanks in part to the great battle for the finish we had. Clean battle. It was really close. We had some really uh, close moments with the crossovers and things, but uh, we didn't make contact, and... Uh, as I kind of expected, he's just the better driver. He knew how to make use of that third lane and get that cut down. And I think that was the, the tool that helped him get the job done for this one. And uh, well done to him. He did it fair. And he did a great job. So, B2. But that's better than what I, what I thought I was going to get. And uh, I'm very happy about it. So, we will see the race results before we say goodbye for this one. And where is it? Race event. Race event, please. Thank you. Out of there, and you can see strength of field 2693 and a 35i rating change. We're back over 5700, <laughs> up and down over that constantly. And a zero incident race, nice and clean, 155 championship points for our runner up. Looking through the field here, did I have the fastest lap? I think I did. Hey, at least I had that fastest lap on lap uh, 68. On our fresh sets of tires that's probably why i didn't win because he got the fast slap on 76 telling you he was probably more patient on the beginning of the runs but uh interesting 76 68 76 68 76 you can tell whenever we had to whenever we had to push hard you can tell when it happened that's funny and uh all right two thumbs up great race thank you for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed. That was very, uh, very fun. Very enjoyable race for me, and I hope it was enjoyable to watch. So I'll see you in the next one, and I hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching.